Hello everyone, welcome to some basic tech and today I will talk about WSL2. This is a kind of a feature that uh, we use usually in Windows operating systems and uh, uh, if I talk about the full form of WSL, so it's a Windows subsystem for Linux and 2 is the specific version of WSL. So uh, we usually uh, we use this uh, tool or you know feature in Windows to test or to enjoy the Linux flavor in Windows and uh, we uh, we do some of uh, settings to enable in windows and then you can you definitely use it so uh, let's go to my screen and let's see how we can just utilize this feature so let me show you how i have installed a debian application in my system so if i'm just going to type debian see it is already installed and it is started now if i'm going to type host name so let's see Alice also working cat something yeah there is no any file so touch file name mkdir will work with sudo so sudo shu see my username and password also working so this is uh, how I just using this application in my windows so uh, let me show you how you can also utilize this and uh, for doing this first we need to enable one of feature that is And that is a Windows Linux subsystem. So type Windows R and come to here, or you can just start and click to run and type appwidge.cpl. Once you come to here, the turn Windows feature on or off. Click to on this and uh, go to last and find you the third last the windows subsystem for linux just click check mark on this option i have already clicked on this so you need you just need to enable this feature and once you click ok your windows feature will update applying changes and all that so it is going to update again because i just clicked ok so it will look like that for you also and once you've done this we just need to perform sort of uh, commands in cmd so uh, just type cmd and right click on this run as administrator once you come to here first we need to type one of command that is to checking your linux hyphen hyphen list hyphen hyphen online so once you type this you will see sort of options that we can use it so before doing this you just saw earlier uh, i we got the option to restart the operating system so we need to uh, restart our system to get featured enable so uh, now we are getting debian ubuntu kali linux and ubuntu multiple flavors so we can just use these uh, features by in uh, installing sort of command so just type wsl hyphen hyphen install hyphen d and then use one of these so i'm going to use ubuntu hyphen 22 so let's see how it works Ubuntu hyphen 22 dot 0.4 so I'm going to install it it will take around uh, a one or two minute to get it installed and uh, once we reboot our system this application will start automatically and ask for your username and password so in between you can subscribe the channel, like and share the video. So you can see here Ubuntu 22.04 LTS is getting installed now and uh, in few minutes we will able to use it. Let's wait for a moment.
okay it is asking for username so I'm going to provide something uh, my sort name and then password retype password and it is done successfully so you can see uh, when I was just uh, installing a Debian it was asking about to reboot and all that but here we don't need to reboot and do something changes and uh, without doing anything I'm able to use it so sudo so see I've become a root now and uh, once you are here you can do whatever you want so this is all that you can just do it and uh, you can just use this feature to enable and utilize so that's all thank you for watching have a nice time